What is Active Directory? Well, I'm going to go over the basics, so stick around. All right, what is Active Directory? We've got the basics of it today. So I've got, got some videos in the works I'm going to be trying to do, uh, going over birthing a domain and things like that, but I just kind of want to go over the basics of what Active Directory is. I know a lot of people are getting into uh, Windows and setting things up and wanting to learn. Well, one of the first things you always want to set up in a Windows environment and make sure it's done properly is your Active Directory domain services. And you're probably thinking, well, what is that? That's a role. So there's a roles over here. Let me go over here on my system. If we actually go back over here to our service manager and we go up here to tools, sorry, we go up here to manage, you can actually go to add and roles. And these roles over here can be installed. See all these roles? All of these different types of roles can be installed and be used for certain, you know, tasks and mechanisms and different frameworks that are needed within an entity or in an enterprise and active directory domain services is one of the first ones and what that provides that allows users and computers and such to authenticate and create a kind of a mechanisms for us to be able to create certain triggers and make sure that users are where they're supposed to be they're getting the data they're supposed to be maybe the map drives maybe the right printers but they're getting what they need to to make sure that they're able to work and when Active Directory allows us to do those, that makes sure that nobody who's logging in doesn't have access to any of that. It allows us to authenticate all these users, all these objects, all these security groups, all these different things. And the way it does this is once you have it set up, I'll go ahead and it'll create a, this, Active Directory Users and Computers. Once you get Active Directory Domain Services installed, it'll go ahead and get everything set up and you're going to get kind of a basic of this. I have some extra folders which aren't these actually aren't folders I'm gonna call them that real quick right now just because I'm about to get into what they are actually called I have a bunch of extra folders in here but these folders are actually called an organizational unit so anytime you hear somebody talk about AD that stands for Active Directory which actually stands for Active Directory Domain Services if you hear the term OU that stands for organizational unit and that's each one of these little folders and then sometimes inside these organizational units you can have even more organizational units and the reason for that is it allows structure, it allows organization, as, I, as they're called, organizational units, and allows you to perform certain you know, policies or groups or triggers so that hey, maybe you need to link certain things. And I'll go over group policies. That's a whole other video. But real quick, what a group policy does is, is it allows us to go ahead and force certain features on Windows to be active, whether it be a map drive or printer, or active you know, antivirus activate certain features in IE, install Chrome, whatever it may be. It does the same thing for servers. So group policies are very useful and they drive off of organizational units. Now, yes, you can link group policies in more advanced ways with doing item level targeting, doing security groups, and you know, doing authentication in weird ways. But for the majority of it, the best way and the easiest way to do group policy is through organizational units, these OUs. So it's very, very important that when you set up an Active Directory the first time, that you set up OUs and you set up everything properly, or if not, Man, it's going to be a pain later on when you've got a larger entity, a larger enterprise, and you're trying to get everything set up and making sure Susie over there can map to a drive, but John over here doesn't have access to it because Susie's in accounting and John's over here, you know, he's just a guy in the warehouse. So it gets really, really interesting that when you've got to get all that set up. But that's, that's basically what Active Directory allows is it provides us a structure and a framework to allow us to use mechanisms that are built into Windows to provide authentication and different types of, I guess, tasks and different things that are needed for users and end users, I mean anything, even administrators, for us to perform our, our duties. So that's what Active Directory is, guys. It's a real quick role. I just want to kind of go over the basics. It's a role that's installed that allows us to manage things and do things, as you can see here. And I'm going to go over real quick what this allows. So if you see here, I've got over on the left-hand side this computer's OU. This is the basic OU. A lot, every time you join a machine to a domain, which I'm not sure if you guys know that yet. I, I'll do a video over that. I know that something's kind of, a lot of us probably think it's trivial. I'm not sure how many people actually know how to do that. But anytime you join a machine to the domain, the first place it goes is right here in computers. It goes in this computer OU, unless you've changed that from default. But by default, it goes in here. And then you'll want to move it around depending on where you want it to go and what you want it to do. Once that's done, based off of what you've done in the background, with group policies, things will get applied and such, and then users inside of your domain that may be in here, if you have users, they'll be able to go ahead and log in and use their user account on the domain to log into any of the machines that are joined to the domain. So what is Active Directory? It's Active Directory Domain Services. It's Microsoft's directory server that allows users to authenticate and authorize themselves with basically a, on a back-end framework so that way they can get access to things to be able to utilize and do their work.
Alright guys, so, quick video. Hope that was, you know, not too bad. Hope everybody understands maybe what Active Directory is and the basics of it. I've got more videos going on. I want to go over, you know, group policies. I want to go over DNS. I want to go over more over organizational units. There's a lot I want to go over, but I just kind of want to get the basics of Active Directory, what it is and why it's necessary. So I hope this video was helpful. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't. Like down below if you think it was good. If I completely didn't make sense at all or if I didn't help you learn anything, you know, drop a comment down below. Shoot me a, P a PM, DM, whatever it is. Let me know what I did wrong, maybe how I could do something better. But as always, guys, I'll see you in the lab.